I've got a YouTube channel, so I have to buy cool stuff. At least that's my justification for buying some of this stuff. This is a 20 franc uh, Republic of Congo 2022. The bear. These things are pretty sweet looking. I bought a couple of these. Um, I think I got them from Abmex. And then uh, what else did I get? Not too long ago. The premiums were low on these. This was back when the 18 bucks an ounce was spot um, in the recent past. So I think I might be 26 or 27 bucks into these, which I mean, it's higher premium stuff, but for a semi numismatic, some something or other, it's not too bad. And these things are super awesome. I gave my kids each one of these for Christmas. Um, these are the Egyptian. I, I'm not sure. Egyptian series from some mint two ounce. But I thought these things look super cool. I got the Nefertiti ones again somewhere. Um, I also got some of these from Atmex. I think I got all this stuff from Atmex. Not the uh, constitutional silver. I've shown this off in another video. But check this out. I'm pretty sure, I think this is the Perth man. It's from Australia. I think they're the only ones that make coins. It's New South Wales. These things are just super detailed. And then, again, the premiums, you know, at the time weren't that bad. Not like now. They'd probably be nuts now. I got a few of these because I got, got them as gifts. Got them to give away as gifts. Urgh! I can't open this thing. And I got this here. I saw it on uh, Bullion Now. BullionNow.com. On YouTube, Bullion Now. They got a really cool channel where they show off cool stuff. But this thing... This is the uh, Silver Beneath the Southern Sky, BU. And I know I'm handling it with my hands, but sometimes you just got to. I don't own a pair of white gloves. I probably need to get some because I'm sure this will trigger some people. But these things are absolutely breathtaking. So I got a couple more. And I don't know if they'll ever be worth anything other than the, the silver weight, but I got them to use as gifts. I'll give them out as Christmas presents to kids. And if I ever have any grandkids, they're going to be stackers right off the bat from day one. So what else did I get? I'm not a big bar person or a, I'm not a small bar person. How about that? I'm not a big small bar person, but these things look super sweet. These are coin bars. These are the Perth Mint, uh, uh, $1, so they got a $1 denomination on them. I thought these things looked super cool. So I had to get a few of these, and I got more of these. I, I gave a couple away for Christmas, this just this last Christmas, 2022. Um, so my kids get a little selection of semi-numismatic stuff. And this is another New South Wales, another New South Wales. And I dropped my microphone. That's about it. But do you guys ever buy this semi-numismatic stuff? I think this is all semi-numismatic. Uh, it's cool looking stuff. Um, it's not really limited vintage by too much, I don't think. I think it's pretty common stuff. Do you guys do any of this uh, cool collectible stuff? I mean, if you've been stacking for as long as I have, have you've got to... You got to change it up a bit. You got to start looking for some stuff that's a little bit more interesting. Otherwise, it just gets boring. If you're just stacking up uh, silver buffaloes and 10 ounce bars, it would get pretty boring pretty fast. But anyway, let me know what you think. You guys do any of this semi numismatic stuff? And are you fans of these, uh, the bars? I like bars that have a dollar denomination, like a, a coin bar. I don't know why. Don't know why. But uh, that's it for today. Hope you guys are having a great day. I will talk to you in the next video.